If for some reason I lost all my memory, what are some of the first things you tell me about us? Mm. Mm, it might happen. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably say um, we enjoy reality TV shows together, mm -hmm. um, fashion, mm -hmm. uh, celebrities, traveling, mm -hmm. um, that I'm your oldest, <laughs> so I taught you a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you're still teaching me a lot. I would say... Um, Oh, I would, yeah. yeah. We we enjoy being with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. That's good. What would you tell me? Oh. <laughs> if I lost, if you my lost memory. your memory, yeah. oh my goodness. Um, I would tell you that you brought joy to my life. You actually saved my life. Um, I appreciate you. That um, you you've done a lot in your life. You've traveled everywhere. Um, I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, and then I love you, and I'm here for you. Yeah. yeah. Deep one. <laughs> <laughs> when do you think I feel closest to you? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. think you feel close to me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, like, I feel close to you, but I don't know if we have, like, as deep of a connection as you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, me and yeah. real close. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think because when you became a teenager... You strayed from me. You act like you didn't need me. Yeah, I've been independent my whole life. Your whole <laughs> life. Like, but it got even worse yeah. when you became a teenager. Yeah. It was like, I'm grown. I don't need you. I don't need to talk to you. I don't need to share with you. So, yeah, it was hard for me to get close. And then you would get, like, real angry. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't like me. Like, you didn't like none of us. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I think it was more like I knew what you went through, but I didn't really know. Like, we're different how we handle deal. Your handles things. You're more hard and, like, I'll just handle it. Where for me, I'm more emotional. Mm -hmm. um, it affects me differently. And I felt like sometimes you might think of, like, me crying or being sad about something as a weakness. So it was, like, hard, like, when I was going through hard things to really talk to you about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry about that. Because <laughs> you could talk to me about anything. Yeah. I think I genuinely know that. But it's, yeah, it's just hard to kind of break the ice and do that. Yeah. I think that's passed down. Yeah, <laughs> agree. Because you know me and my mom don't really, I can't talk to her about certain yeah. things. We have like a surface level. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I can see that with Nana too. Like I feel like me and her don't really have a connection yeah. either. So. Even though you were around her most yeah. all your life. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is, and that's a generational thing. Yeah. But we got, uh, we'll break it. Yeah. You'll break it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Whose turn was it? Was yeah. it your mind now? <laughs> okay. Okay. When do you worry most about me and why? N probably now. <laughs> like after you had cancer the first time, it was like a thing in my head where it's like, oh, I want to, you know, spend more time with you and us to get closer so that, you know, your days could be limited. Like, I want us to be able to be like, we enjoyed, like, thoroughly enjoyed being with each other. Yeah. And I feel like, kind of like, we was kind of blessed because mm -hmm. it's like, it was. we can spend more time, like, raising her together mm -hmm. and just, yeah, learning yeah. from you and everything. Yeah. yeah, she was a blessing. Yeah. She really was. She will bring us closer together. Yep. Well, 
What's one thing I still don't fully understand about you? And why do you think that is? Uh, I don't think you fully understand. <laughs> why? Mm, why I am so hard? <laughs> I've had a rough life. Um, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, I shut off, like, you know, because when I was young, I was sexually assaulted when I was um, 14. And again, <laughs> when I was like 17. Okay. So I'm just I'm just tough. Yeah, because no. I had and that to comes be. Off. Yeah, right. and I didn't tell. I told my best friend on the first one, but then after that, it was just whatever. Right. You throw it back there and you keep on moving. And I think that's what I've done with everything. Yeah, and everything. I think you want me to be more like that. And yeah, I'm and not you're not like that. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Yeah. I shouldn't do that. But it's just everything, it's just, oh, well, whatever. Just like when I got cancer, it was like, it was a, a, a coping mechanism. Yeah. It was just, oh, okay, that's what I got, what I got to do. Yeah, whatever. To handle it. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's why you don't didn't understand why I was so hard. Yeah. But that is why. But I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> that you went through that. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I kind of would have, you know, known that before, but... Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're everybody doing the work. Know. Yeah. Because Nana don't know. <laughs> Nobody knew. You're doing the work in therapy now. So. Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go. What do you need from me, and am I giving it to you? Mm. What do I need from you? Um, I think more empathy, more softness, like. In order for me to be able to talk to you, I feel I need for you to like be okay with like listening and then maybe not always giving like what you would do. Mm. Like let me kind of work through it, bounce off of you, but not like this is the only way you should do it. Because <laughs> that's how it comes off to me sometimes. And it's like, well, I don't feel that way about it or... I would go about it a different way. So then it's like, I'd rather just talk to someone else that I could like kind of bounce that off of. Mm. I, I hear you. I hear yeah. you. But I think sometimes you already think all that in your head before you even bring it to me. Mm. <laughs> like Maybe. the like the last thing that happened, mm -hmm. like you could have came to me. You could have yeah. been like, little mom. I know. Yeah, I, I can agree that I can already say, yes, oh, yes. this is how she's going to uh -huh. respond. Yeah. yeah, I can yeah. agree on that. Give me a chance to change. Give me a chance to be like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, well, wait a minute. Let me see how she is thinking. Because this is, she is more sensitive to me. She does see things differently. Yeah. So let's see how we can fix it so we can do it her way. Yeah. And it'll be better for you. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm what is the greatest lesson I taught you? Mm, that I can and be independent, that I can do what I need to do on my own. Like, that's my number one thing probably from you. Yeah. It's Which a good thing be, and a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, I was going to say it could be. It could be well, a blessing and a curse. Because sometimes you could be too independent and you yeah. won't let nobody in. Yeah. yeah, and that, again, that's a generational thing. <laughs> my mom had to be strong yeah. when my dad died, and then that's all I saw. So yeah. all women taking care of business, doing what they got to do. Yeah. So then that's the same thing I did, and then I passed Pass it on, on to you. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. That's <laughs> all right. Yeah. yeah. I think we're going to have a good chance of just living a softer life of yeah. not having to do everything like allowing other people to help yeah 
And I think it's good she has uncles. Yeah. Because, see, I didn't have any. Male figures. Yeah, male figures to show me, you know, how it is, you know. It was just women. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be good for her. If this were to be our last conversation ever, what would you never want me to forget? Oh, my goodness. Oh. <sighs> I never want you to forget that I love you. And you are so smart. And you make me proud and happy. And you and you and they will be good. You'll be okay. And you tell her how much I love her so much. And then y'all just be happy. Yeah. I think about that all the time, all the time. I hope I get to see her grow older. I really do, really do. But I do, I love both of y'all so much. Don't think I love you less than nor. Or I love you, you're my daughter. You're my daughter. I want us to be so close. I want us to be like best friends. Yeah, best friends. And we can talk and tell each other anything. Okay, I'm not gonna judge you. Look, I can't judge nobody. I've been through a lot of things. And so I understand, yeah, I may be a little rough around the edges, kind of tough with it, but it's coming from a good place and I'm trying to be softer with it. I'm trying, but you can still talk to me. Yeah. I love you. Love you too. This last one. What does my love feel like? <laughs> mm -hmm. It feels hard sometimes, but I know it's you know it's there. And it, hearing like how other people like were raised and how their relationships with their mom like ours is definitely not the worst. <laughs> I do we have room to grow? Yes, but. I am very happy that I have you as my mom. Thank you. And same for you. Hey there. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed that conversation and you want to ask these questions to your own family, check out the And Family Edition card game at theskindeep.com slash shop.